how to set up sales taxes in your Shopify store step by step. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can set up sales taxes in your Shopify store. So let's jump right in. Now, if you're looking to set up sales taxes in your Shopify store, you have to set up shipping and delivery, and for different regions, your sales tax might differ, especially if you're based in the US where sales taxes are often going to be different for different regions, or if you're delivering your products globally or internationally, then you might have different duties and tax estimates that you might have to calculate for products. So the first step is to actually go into your product and sometimes a lot of people add their product without taxes, which means that if you scroll down, this option is called charge tax on this product and this needs to be enabled for the checkout to actually charge any type of tax. If you don't have this enabled on your Shopify product, your taxes, even if you do add them to your Shopify store, they're not going to be charged to these products. So make sure to enable this before you do so. Now, if you haven't done this, instead of doing this manually, you can just go into more actions select all of your products, click on bulk edit. Once you click on bulk edit, you have columns. You can go into your columns and come charge taxes, add that column. And then you're just going to charge taxes and just make sure all of this is ticked and then click on save. And now all of my products are going to charge taxes. Now, once we've done that, to actually navigate into setting up sales taxes, we're gonna click on settings on the bottom left. And once you click on settings on the bottom left, we are going to go into shipping and delivery. Now, the reason why I'm going into shipping and delivery before I go into taxes and duties is because you have to set up shipping. So domestic and international shipping for all of your products. We have domestic shipping. First off, I'm going to delete all pre-existing zones and I'm going to add a shipping zone. And this is going to be Canada. And I'm just going to add Canada as the shipping zone. And then we're going to add the rate. And this is going to be a flat shipping fee. And it's just going to be 10. And then I'm going to click on save. Once you do that, you can add multiple different regions where you're shipping to. And you're going to add them in the form of markets. You can click on markets over here. And you have several different markets. So over here we have markets and within markets you have to configure payments as well as taxes. So I am going to go into add market and I'm going to name this Canada and I'm going to just search for Canada over here. Select it, add market. Once I add this market, you guys can see I have my shipping rates that are set and it says duties and import taxes. I can click on duties and import taxes and I'm going to click on turn on. Once I do that, you can choose purchase labels with prepaid duties. So when the customer pays you at checkout and your carrier invoices you later, your carrier support these prepaid duties. Then you have where you're collecting these particular, you know, taxes. And then you're going to click on next. You have to update your information. So your product information needs to be accurate to get estimates for duties and import taxes. So you have to update your harmonized system codes as well as the country of origin for all of your products because where your products are being shipped from is going to impact the taxes a lot. If you're doing drop shipping, usually you're able to bypass these taxes because the products are usually small in size and China does have a lot of different legal loopholes, which allows them to ship into international markets with minimal shipping fees. Then you have to edit your store policies and you need to communicate these policies and fees so people know where they're shopping for and what are their terms and you know conditions. Now, Shopify partners with multiple different platforms to calculate taxes and duties. In Canada, Shopify partners with Avalara to provide this feature. And you have to agree to Avalara's terms and conditions. And duties and import taxes are going to be provided as estimates, not as a fixed figure. So you will be responsible for the final amount that is charged. The duty calculation fee is 0.5%. You're going to click on turn on over here and now we are managing and actually adding taxes in the region of Canada. 
So if I go into taxes and duties right now, you will see it says collecting duties and collecting taxes. Now below that, you will see several applications that can help you in setting up your sales tax in Shopify, including Vertex and then Avalara. Below that, you also have duties and import taxes that you are just managing, and then you can include your sales tax in product price and shipping rates. For my products, I am not including the sales tax in the product price, so I'm not going to set this up. I want to charge I do want to charge sales tax on shipping, and you can charge VAT for digital goods. I'm going to charge sales tax on shipping. And then after that, I can go into my Canadian region. And then below that, we have taxes and exemptions. So only applicable in Canada. And then you're going to collect a new region. And you can select the region where you are charging this tax. And then you're going to enter your sales tax ID. You can enter this later as well if you do not have this. And you're just going to enter your region. Once you do that, you are going to manually enter the regions that you're collecting your sales tax in and enter your uh, tax ID. And because we are in Canada, we will have to add our GST or HST number. It can take up to 30 days to receive this number. You can add this later as well, but we are going to just collect sales tax like so. British Columbia, Manitoba, Quebec. And then once we've done that, you guys can see it's now going to be adding taxes or sales taxes. Make sure you are saving this as well. If you don't save this, your taxes will be added. Now that we have done this, you guys can see if I go into taxes and duties, it's going to have a check mark under collecting tax and collecting duties. And my taxes will now be collected. Now I can click on install to use these paid applications for our orders and to actually have my taxes be calculated by default on checkout. So instead of customers just, you know, directly purchasing like so, you guys can see their particular price is going to be impacted by taxes. So if I go on over here, they have shipping, enter your shipping address, and then we have estimated taxes that are added by default. It's 4.97 for this particular product. And these are going to be automatically calculated for you. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video